Good morning. How are you this morning? A quick wake me up. I've been uh, at it since seven, so I've been, which is several hours here. I've had a couple of cancellations today. I haven't been able to put my energy into a podcast. I've done heaps of bits and pieces, but I really need to balance my own brain. So selfishly, I am here. So yay. Okay, so let's, uh, firstly, let's just see where we're at. So just run that central, central meridian. Let's feed that conscious brain. That's the conception vessel, the first one to be in little itsy bitsy babies at that moment of conception. The two fingers on the forehead, bringing the blood supply to the frontal cortex, allowing energy to that frontal cortex, allowing us to problem solve, to think clearly and no, I haven't done this this morning myself yet. Okay, I'm going to go have a look and see. Might have a play with the little pathways from left to right sides of the brain and see what's going on for our collective consciousness. Okay. Okay, so the frontal cortex, uh, so not only is there a lack of blood there, but the motivation, dopamine, that sort of thing just isn't kicking into action. So I'm going to open that up. Right, so the brain's in a little bit of escape submission freeze at the moment, so it's uh, feeling a bit discombobulated, which is sort of how I feel. I'm sort of, I'm doing lots, but I'm sort of going from one thing to the next, to the next, to the next. So, you know, when you just can't focus, you just can't uh, sort one thing out before going on to the next. Of course, it is a very chaotic at the moment. I don't know if any of you feel that chaotic energy on the planet at the moment. But I've got so many people in acute trauma and pain and uh, health issues in my world at the moment, uh, clients and friends. And it's very disconcerting. You know, we're, we're always trying to raise that vibration so that we can be the best we can be. And it just feels that at the moment there's just heaps going on that's really uh, messing, messing with me. Okay, uh, so the first hippocampal circuit is to do with fear of failure or fear of success. Now, as a naturopath, until the last couple of years, I've had really good success in making sure that I'm the best I can be naturopathically because of the complications associated with everything the last three years or so. I'm not able to get the same best results that I've always got. And that's really quite disconcerting as a really seasoned practitioner. So I can imagine what it's like for newbies in the field. So we're going to go and just ask the body about fear of failure and fear of success. So I don't know whether that resonates for you, but just in the clear... Yeah, right. So my hippocampus, the hippocampus is about memory. So just that left, right memory center in the clear is, uh, there's some frustration in there, <laughs> some rage, anger, frustration. So, and sometimes we internalize that in ourselves and that can become depression, but it just doesn't help us move forward the best we can be. So that's without fear of failure, fear of success online. That's just in the clear. It's not optimal. There's some frustration shutting down the memory pathways. Okay. So once again, fear of failure. Right. So the pleasure reward. No, it's not. It's fear, threat, danger. There's a fear, threat, danger in relation to fear of failure. So, uh, you know, it, it's just the most optimal time to be on the planet being a healer as well as the most challenging. There doesn't, there's certainly no magic solutions at the moment. So once again, fear of failure. That's better. Now fear of success. Okay. 
Okay. So fear of success is one of those weird ones, of course, because it doesn't sound like it should be an issue. But if we get successful, we become more busy. If we get successful, we are out there for more people. If we get successful, there's energy trying to be, you know, there's energy vampires out there all the time. And if we are successful, then what does it mean to us? Are you the sort of person where, as a kid, uh, there was the whole only successful people, they would, you know, walk on their mothers to get themselves, you know, it's sort of that whole what do we believe about success in our in our in our souls and I had not thought of that but I'm really busy at the moment my course is going great online my busy I'm as busy as I want to be in the clinic have been for a long time so uh, bringing in new people new energy you know it's uh, it's all great you know I, I love seeing new clients I love getting good results for people but it's just interesting fear of success what does it mean for you? <laughs> what does fear of failure or fear of success mean to you? Is that in your psyche or is it not something you resonate with? Yeah, right, my throat's closing up just thinking about it. That's sort of interesting. <coughs> yeah, interesting. Uh, reticular activating system. So let's go see what that's doing. Okay, so the low serotonin, yeah, so low serotonin creating vigilance in the nervous system. You know, it's like every time the phone pings at the moment, I, this, uh, you know, I really need to set some strong boundaries in relation to when I will and won't answer the phone, for example, and, uh, I, I need to do that for myself. I tell people to do that all the time and I need to just finish the day and just switch off my phone so that I'm not, you know, waiting for those pings because every ping means I'm getting back to someone for another five, ten minutes and it's just time out of, it's just time. And it's taking away from my ability to calm down and relax and be at peace. So I hope, I hope uh, you're all taking care of yourself with boundaries as well. Shake it off, shake it off, shake it off. Okay, take care everyone. Have a good day. I'm feeling better. Hope you are too.